So first I go into make a movie and if I have clips already recorded, I can select them, but I'm gonna just start right into the movie maker. I'm gonna slide down to where it says camera and here you can see I'm gonna record my clips, but this is my storyboard here. And you can see that I'm trying to log into my computer. It doesn't go well. I get frustrated. Hello. <laughs> and so I kind of repeat three of these shots over and over again until I get it right. Now here you're gonna see me doing my recording. So I'll be setting up my camera in different places and recording this movie so you'll that's what you see on the screen now you'll notice that my screen is turned sideways here and that's because um i had to flip between landscape and um, portrait mode now when you record you want to make sure that your camera is turned sideways as you're doing this
So now you're going to start to see me doing some editing here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to move one clip at a time. I'll click on them and I'll adjust the length. And you'll also see me changing all the transitions in between the clips just so that they're straight cuts. They're not fading into one another or anything like that. Now some of these clips I shot once and I'll actually duplicate over and over again. Like the typing scene, I'll duplicate that over and over again and I click and drag or I hold and drag and I drag it so to use it in different places in the movie. The reaction shots, I'll copy those and duplicate those and move those to different points. And so now I'm just organizing my clips, one right after each other. And it takes a little getting used to because you touch it and drag it around, but sometimes you kind of like close your phone accidentally or close the program. So it just takes a little bit of time trying to get the touch right, but you're gonna organize your clips. And remember, you only have to have six total clips. Mine ended up being 18 clips and the movie was a minute and a half long. So yours is gonna take far less time. All said and done, to do the entire project, beginning to end, it, including the storyboard, it took me half an hour. Now, of course, I knew what I was doing and stuff like that, but it's not gonna take you super long if you are kind of organized about what you're gonna film and, and then just go film it inside of the app. Now here at the end, you're gonna see me click on the plus icon and start to look for some music. So I type in some, some words, see if I have something on my phone, but I just kind of click through these music files that I have on the phone and just find something that sounds like it will work for my movie. The other thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is make sure to add titles at the beginning and end. And to do that, I tap on the actual clip and then I will add some text to it and just type in the text. At the beginning, I'll do a title called Logging On. And then at the end, I'll do, you know, written, directed, and acted by Mr. Granlund. Now, when I'm all done, I want to make sure that the name of my project matches the name of the project that's turned in. So the default in iMovie is called it's called uh, my movie don't just turn in a project that's called like untitled or my movie make sure you title the movie the same as the project that way it's easier to make sure you turn it into the right place online yep and you'll see on screen now i'm clicking and typing in written directed all the credit stuff that i need for this movie it's not it's not much but you need something And here at the end, I kind of look through the entire movie, just kind of check it. And that's always an important part too. And then I'll also type in renaming the movie and then upload it. Um, and I'll upload it. I'll just save it to my pictures and then I'll go to the app, the Schoology app, and then upload it through there. Now, if you have a YouTube account, you can upload it to YouTube and then just send a link through Schoology. That's a great way to do it, but if you don't have a YouTube account, it's going to be just fine to save it to your pictures on your phone and then upload it using the Schoology app as well.